Well, here we are. We made it to the final week. And this week, you're going to be working on your final project, which is going to be a social awareness poster. So you're going to need very large images for this poster. And I would recommend if you're not taking your own images, if you're going to get them off the internet, I would try Stock Exchange. Otherwise, you're going to get images that aren't going to be big enough and the quality is going to be lacking. And that's actually one of the things that I'm going to be grading you on is the quality of your images. So I'm looking at the size, I'm looking at the quality, and then I'm looking at if you clearly communicate a social awareness issue. So if I can't tell what your poster is communicating, then I'm going to mark you off for this. So you, we've done this before. We've looked at concepts for the midterm. I highly recommend that you create a concept for this and that with that concept that you ensure that you're communicating some type of message with this poster. So that means you're going to have to use some type of typography here as well. And I'm going to be grading you on the typography you're using as well. So I want you to save the file as your last name dot final. Do not resize. If this is not the incorrect size, you will be marked off for the size as well. So another thing that I've given you here is some sites for some inspiration. So if you go to this slideshow here for NGO ads, I've given you a website here for a lot of really nice images here that were created for um, NGOs and really show the type of social issues that we're looking at here and show a combination of different things using Photoshop, Illustrator, uh, different media and it's all stuff that we've been using along with typography as well. So make sure you get this in on time. I'm not going to accept any late assignments. Make sure you get it to me on time and if you have any questions, get a hold of me immediately. Do not wait until the last minute to upload this file and then send me an email saying that you couldn't upload it. I will not accept it. There's going to be no excuses here, guys. you got to get this done in a timely manner. So if you know you've had problems in the past with either Photoshop, your computer, or uploading the file to the Internet, you better start working on this early, get it done early, so that you can have enough time to deal with these problems. If you have any questions, like I said, get a hold of me immediately.